Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated here with a special iCarry Spotlight. Since tomorrow is the 4th of July, we wanted to bring a uniquely American episode and figured that the 357 Magnum revolver is about as American as you can get. Yeah, the 1911 is a great choice of course, but we ran one last year for our Independence Day iCarry episode. For this special segment, we wanted to bring one current production revolver and one classic from each of the big three companies that still produce wheel guns. Colt, Ruger, and Smith & Wesson. For Colt, we've opted for a Trooper for the classic, and of course, the Python for the modern. For Ruger, we have a Security 6 and an LCR. For the Smith & Wesson, we've opted for a Model 19 for the old school and a 360 PD for the new. Let's take a closer look at these revolvers. Evolving into what some deem the poor man's python, the Trooper began life as a workhouse pistol chambered in 22 long rifle, 38 special, and 357 magnum. Over a span of three decades and three different model changes, the original, the Mark III, and lastly the short-lived Mark V, the Trooper lived its life in the python's shadow. That's a shame because the Trooper was an excellent revolver in its own right, offering accuracy and reliability in an affordable gun. It's hard to imagine a reintroduction that brought about as much fanfare, raised expectations and excitement as much as the Colt Python. A staple of the latter part of the 20th century, Colt's distinct revolver showed up in more movies and TV shows than Clint Eastwood. 1970s staples Chips and Starsky and Hutch featured Pythons, as did the 80s Hill Street Blues and Miami Vice. When Colt revived the Cobra in 2017, all the buzz was about the mighty snake and when we might see a new Python, which would be just three years later. Ruger's first offering of a single-action, double-action revolver, the Security 6 made inroads in the law enforcement market in the times of the six-shot revolver. It offered a transfer bar firing system, one of the first DASA revolvers to employ that particular safety feature. This revolver here also has a special place in my armory. It's the first firearm I ever bought. We featured the LCR on iCarry numerous times previous, and for good reason. It's a lightweight, powerful, modern revolver that's great for concealed carry. Numerous chamberings from rimfire to the powerful 357 Magnum are available, and a variety of options like laser grips and custom sights are available for upgrades if desired. In my opinion, Ruger's push-button cylinder release is the most intuitive of all three types, although not as distinctive as the pull-to-open latch of the Colts. The Model 19 started life as the Combat Magnum, the first of which was presented to Bill Jordan, who was instrumental in its design. Two years after its launch in 1955, Smith & Wesson changed nomenclature to the familiar number system and the 19 was born. Originally envisioned as a heavy barrel, six-shot revolver with a four-inch barrel and either blued or nickel finish, the Model 19 set the standard for the fighting 357 Magnum revolver for, well, history. About as different from the historic Model 19 as possible, the 360 PD launched in the mid-2000s as a scandium frame, titanium cylinder, super lightweight revolver for concealed carry. Tipping the scales at a ridiculously light 11.4 ounces, this J-frame can be somewhat of a handful when firing 357 Magnum. Affectionately nicknamed the Snubby from Hell, the 360 PD is really best fed a diet at 38 Special. Not because the Magnum rounds will adversely affect operation, but because your hand can only take so much tenderizing. We overwhelmingly feature semi-automatic handguns on iCarry, so forgive this trip down memory lane. The revolver was conceived in America and remains an enduring icon in the firearm industry, so we thought it fitting to bring this spotlight to you as we approach America's birthday. For more information on the guns in this spotlight or for concealed carry gear, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.